Jimmy Yen here, the acupuncture guy with Achieve and Rid of Health. Uh, coming at you uh, at night again. Man, it's getting hot here in Austin. So we're continuing, I'm gonna continue on the sexy diagnostics. Uh, we kind of did a little tangent, um, but I wanna get back to you know the diagnostics. So you know today we're gonna be talking about the sexy ears. So who's got some sexy ears? So did you know that your ears can actually tell you quite a bit about what's going on in your uh, health and how your organs are functioning? Um, so, you know, the ears, one of the big things, you know, what does the ears do? They help us hear, right? And so if you have any diminished hearing um, or changes in your hearing or maybe some ringing in your ears, that could signify that you actually have some kidney function problems because the ears, the kidneys actually control your hearing. And so, uh, yeah, so if you have any um, hearing problems or, you know, the sudden acute, this is, you know, barring, you know, loud music or, you know, around machines and stuff like that, you know, because that's, that's just self-induced. But if you didn't do anything, you know, take any chemicals and you weren't around loud music all the time and your hearing just started ringing, um, it could be that you have some uh, kidney function problems. No, it doesn't mean your kidney is not working. It just means it's not doing all of its jobs. And so if you have any problems like hearing problems like tinnitus, um, maybe you had what I had, uh, vertigo, but mine wasn't due because of the inner ear. But if, but what if, what if, if you did have vertigo due to the inner ear problems, um, like congestion in the inner ear, actually uh, Chinese medicine is phenomenal for it. And when I had the vertigo, mine was due to my neck, but I still used acupuncture to help, along with chiropractic, to help me eliminate my vertigo. So if you do need any help with that, any type of inner ear problem like Meniere's disease, uh, syndrome um, or tinnitus or hearing problems um, that you, you didn't self-induce it, um, give us a call, 512-260-1710, achieveintegrativehealth.com. We are the number one acupuncture and wellness clinic in Central Texas. So there's also a medicine, uh, in Chinese medicine, there's a part of it that is related to auricular medicine. So the whole ear, if you can see my ears, yeah, I got my hair cut just so you, I can show you my ear. So the whole ear can actually, is actually like an upside down fetus. And so by looking at the, your ear, we can tell, in Chinese medicine as acupuncturists, we can tell certain things that are going on in your body. Like this part right here is related to your spine. And so if you have any dents in here, then it could show, it could tell us that, oh, there's probably some spine issues in your body. But there's a point for every part of your body on your ear, okay? Uh, we actually do acupuncture on ears, but we use it also as a diagnostics. So the ears are super important, and I'll get into more of it in a later post, but I just wanted to, to let everybody know that, hey, the ears are vitally important important they can tell us so much about your health and before you poo poo it um, you know people are saying oh it's not scientifically proven oh the FDA is not it doesn't didn't approve it um, so it's not real medicine uh, well what is real medicine did you know all Western medicine was once theory and actually a lot of it is still theory based we don't know exactly what's going on you can get an MRI an x-ray blood test it doesn't it, it gives us clues it doesn't mean that it you know, the, 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 the science right now doesn't exactly correlate to, oh, you have this positive finding on a lab or an imaging, so it definitely means you have this. There's nothing like that. So we need to basic, you know, all of it is just a reference. All of it's just giving us clues. So, you know, I mean, how many times, you know, before the MRI, the x-ray was developed, you know, nobody, there was no technology to see if we actually had a brain in here. So. Okay, just because we lacked that technology back then, does that mean that the, the human beings back then didn't have brains in their skull, right? I know this is kind of stupid, but when people poo-poo uh, a 3,000-year-old medicine that's been around for 3,000 years and say that, oh, there's no science behind it, it there's, there's more science behind a 3,000-year-old medicine than a 100-year-old medicine. The only difference is right now the, the, you know, the, the 100-year-old medicine and big pharma is the one that's controlling all of the sick care and health care. It's, you know, it's controlling, it's forcing doctors to do certain things. I'm not, this has nothing to do with your doctors. This is just the way that the pharmaceutical company is controlling health care here in the world. And so they're telling you, oh, these 3,000-year-old medicine are poo-poo because they don't approve it. 
Well, it's because they can't standardize it. They can't make money off of it. That's why they don't, they poo poo it. So before you start just poo pooing stuff, you know, off just because it's not FDA approved, how many FDA medications have killed people? And they were approved, right? So they were approved to kill people. And so, you know, this is what I'm saying. You know, you gotta, you have to open your own mind and think logically. Okay, so, you know, what did we not have before? I mean, look at penicillin. Penicillin was coming from a mold. It's like a, uh, a, 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 it's like a traditional medicine. It's like a, you know, a, a medicine back then. And so, you know, a lot of these things, but I don't want to get too much. This is not a, you know, uh, bashing, pharmaceutical bashing. This is just presenting facts. And so looking at your ears, you know, look at, you know, Go talk. You know, look at your spouse's ear, your kid's ear, and see what see what you see. Do you see any red dots, any any lines, any veins in certain areas? Well, it could mean that there's certain problems in their health. Okay. So again, if you need help, whether it's with hearing or just restoring your health, um, achieve integrative health. Dot com five one two two six zero one seven one zero. We can possibly help you out. Give us a call so we can see. I want you to comment below. So, what do you when you look at your someone else's ear? What do you see, right? Uh, in Chinese um, culture, they said that if you have a big earlobe, that means you're going to have a big fortune. I have no idea if that's true or not, but you know, there's things that have been passed down like folk medicine and, and just things, and a lot of it is true. So, uh, comment, sh like, share this post. And just uh, comment below, see what do you see in your kid's ears or your spouse's ears, and uh, maybe I can uh, give you a little insight about what's going on, all right? Let's have a great night, guys.